going to make a quick video on flashing the firmware on one of these E32 433 megahertz 1 watt modules, e bike modules, and you'll need a ST link adapter, and on the module. Just here are four little pins and you need to solder uh, or use two of the pins. The second one up is this S pin or swim pin and the fourth one up is the reset pin. And then we've got uh, VCC and ground on those two. So you, you just need four wires. And on the ST Link adapter, top left is the reset. Second one down on the left is the swim. Third one down on the left is the ground. And the fifth one down on the left is the 5 volts. And that's how you set up that side of it. So we'll just go plug it in. And go over to the um, screen. So we need to download a program called ST Visual Programmer and once you uh, start it up, um, up here in the devices you select STM8L15XG4 and we can do a, a read with this uh, button here it tells us the device is protected so we need to un unprotect the device so on the third tab across on here the BOR on is set to off but we have to set it to on and then write that Okay, once that's done, we should be able to read it. So it reads fine, okay, and, um, and now to load the uh, firmware, uh, open the tab and out of the um, QLRS firmware, you have a, a quite a few options. And in the readme file attached to it, um, you'll see um, which firmware you'll need to choose. So the R at the beginning uh, stands for receiver, and then the three letters stands for the frequency. The A is the 1 watt module, and then the protocol, which you want to use. So my one is the first one. I'm going to select that. Oh, you might not see that part of the screen there. Okay, so it's loaded the um, firmware, and I'm just going to flash that to the um, module. So it's uh, verified successfully. And uh, now we can go to the configurator and um, configure the frequency and failsafe and what have you. 
Okay, yeah, so uh, once we've fin finished flashing, we'll, we can disconnect the uh, ST Link uh, adapter and plug in our FTDI. Um, and the module can run at 5 volts. So we just hook our, um, our Earth, our power, our TX and RX are reversed from our FTTI to the TX and RX on the uh, on the module, and our M0 and M1 are earthed together only on the receivers to configure the receiver. The uh, TX, that M1 goes to ground, but on the RX, the M0 and M1 are shorted together like that. So if I plug in my FTDI, configurator tool, if I hit refresh, I get some drop down port settings 27, my one is. If I go connect, I see over here on the left hand side it shows you the um, firmware version and it automatically comes up with slave RX. So in here we change our pairing code and they have to be the same between the transmitter and receiver our output S bus or PPM the number of channels we want to output um, the power select channel so if we want to change our power selection channels on channel 10 would select there our injected RSSI channel if we want to that saves having a separate wire we can just inject it down the same uh, PPM or S bus uh, wire and uh, the power levels um, can be configured as minimum medium or maximum and there's a list I'll put a list up uh, on the screen of uh, the approximately approximate milliwatts so there's that that's the main tab there and then there's the RF frequencies so we can we've got eight channels to select uh, hopping channels if we select channel 1 is 433 and we go to 433 on the second one and 433 on the third one that's one hop or can be configured as one hop so you if you just want to hop say three channels you just configure uh, two or three lots together as uh, one um, one frequency and then we've got our telemetry tab I'm not up with the uh, with these yet our fail safe um, so if we in INAV if we want to uh, have uh, it fail safe um, in half a second and we'd need to put our channels our first four channels out of sync with INAV so we'd need to go say 8 850 on all first on all of those uh, first five channels and then could configure that in INAV to fail safe on say 900 so if uh, when um, QLRS goes into failsafe at 850 INAV will see that is below our threshold of 900 and will failsafe and you just uh, when you've done um, choosing all your tabs and settings uh, right to EEPROM And it comes back with a um, setting safe to EEPROM. And that's about all, well as far as I know so far, uh, setting up.
the receiver side, the transmitter is the same, um, and you set the pairing code up exactly the same. Alright, thanks a lot.